Welcome, welcome, welcome. Swipe and invite your followers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome, 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 welcome. We are doing another power word this week. And if you are new to my broadcast, I am Pastor Shantae of Life Nation. And if you'd like to find out more information about who we are and what we do, welcome, Rochelle. Who we are and what we do, you can feel free to look in our bio and click on the information there. We also have a clothing and garment store that you can also click on in the bio and check out the products that we have that are inspirational. And we're going to move into today's power word. So, as I said on yesterday, and you can catch the replay from yesterday, God woke me up in the middle of the night and gave me two empowering words. So I want to split them up between yesterday and today. Yesterday, we talked about discovering and doing your purpose, discovering and doing your purpose. And God asked me four questions. He said, if anybody can answer these four questions, then they would be able to not only discover their purpose, but to actually move into their purpose. So that was yesterday. And today we are talking about another word that the Lord gave me for the people of God. And that was visionary or hustler who are you following and I was like wow um, it, this was something that you know I hadn't really thought about um, but because God kind of gave me that thought I started looking into it and then as I was studying and looking into it God began to speak some specific things to me about these characteristics and how you can tell the difference between a hustler and a visionary. So I'm just going to give you what he's given to me and then I'm going to be out. <laughs> um, the first thing he said is a hustle is not a vision. A hustle is not a vision. Um, I think that's very important in the day and age in which we live that we need to recognize that a hustle and a vision are not the same. They're two different things. And these are the definitions that, that God gave me as I was just listening. He said this, a hustle is motivated by temporary gain, a winning pitch, and a captivated and manipulated crowd. Listen to that again. A hustle is motivated by temporary gain, a winning pitch, and a captivated and manipulated crowd. So three things have to happen with a hustler, right? They have to be motivated by temporary gain. What's in it for me? You know, get rich quick. How can I, you know, earn something quickly and get out? So they're motivated by temporary gain. A winning pitch, meaning I have to be able to um, sell you on an idea, on a product, on any of that in order to get you to buy into it. And then the third thing is a hustle is motivated by captivating and manipulating a group or a crowd of people. So a lot of times you can find yourself being confronted by someone who's a hustler, right? 
This is a person, as, as the Lord said, who is motivated by temporary gain. They use a winning pitch and they have a captivated and manipulated crowd of people that they're working with. So again, God was very clear and he said, a hustle is not a vision. A hustle is not a vision. A hustle is motivated by temporary gain, a winning pitch, and a captivated and manipulated crowd. All right. Now, this is what he had to say about vision. A vision is motivated by long-term results, a winning plan, and a committed sphere of connected yet motivated doers. I'll say that again. A vision is motivated by long-term results, a winning plan, and a committed sphere of connected yet self-motivated doers, right? So what is the difference? A hustle is all about a, a, temporary, a temporary gain. What can I get? How can I make this money? How fast can we do it? What's the turnaround? Let's get in and let's get out. A vision is motivated by long-term results. What do I want to see happen one year from now, five months from now, six months from now, five years from now, right? So if you're dealing with a hustler, they're not in it for long-term results. If you're dealing with a visionary, a visionary wants to know how is this going to affect you or how is this going to affect the people that I'm involved with in the long term, right? A visionary is someone who is going to stick with you Beyond the short term results. So a vision is motivated by long term results. It's also motivated by a winning plan. Notice with the hustler, it's a winning pitch. How can I pitch something to you? How can I sell something to you? How can I market something to you? That is the spirit of a hustler. <laughs> a visionary is thinking, how can I give you a plan that's going to help you win in life. How can I give you a plan that has some order, that has some structure, that has some goals to it in order to help you be successful again in the long term? A vision is also motivi motivated by a committed sphere of connected yet self-motivated doers. So there's connection that's happening, but it's not totally reliant on the, the hustler's thinking is, I have to captivate you. I have to manipulate you to get you to buy into something. A visionary understands that I've got to have people who are committed. I've got to have people who are connected. That means that we're building relationship. And I've got to have people who are self-motivated. Meaning that, hey, if the visionary moves on, or the visionary goes on to be with the Lord, right? But the visionary has left a plan. If you have self-motivated people, they're going to take the vision and the plan that was written and they're going to run with it. In other words, they're self-motivated. They're not going to let the vision or the legacy die because the visionary imparted and planted something in them that would go beyond the life of that visionary, right? If it's a hustler, a hustler is thinking, this is not going to work without me because I am the deciding factor in whatever's going on, right? If I've captivated and manipulated people and I move off the scene, then there's nothing there that's holding people to do whatever it was that I was trying to pitch to them. So that's um, some things that God shared with me about that to begin with. And then he gave a warning and he said, make sure and not a hustler. Make sure you are aligning your life with visionaries and not hustlers. So continuing on with that thought, I began to look up some things about vision versus a hustle. Right. A vision. Vision itself means being able to see or 
an experience of a dream. The verb is to envision or to imagine, to have perception, to have perspective. Hustle is a whole other game. (laughs) First version, first definition of hustle, right? Because we're talking about knowing the difference. Hustle, to force to move quickly in a direction. All right. Second definition of hustle. Busy movement or activity. Third definition of hustle, fraud or swindle. So what can we tell about how do I know if something is a hustle? First of all, there's going to be force or coercion involved. Force or coercion involved. There's going to be um, some coercion for you to haste, to make haste. And you're not going to have an opportunity to reflect on what it is that the person is asking or the person is pitching because they want you to move now, act now, move quickly, do it in 24 hours. No time to think about it. No time to consult about what it is that you're doing. Uh, No time to confer with anyone else. So most of us have seen a hustler in action. Usually there's some force and coercion involved. And there is this need of, oh, you have to do it in haste. So there's no time to reflect on your choices and your uh, and your options. Also, it talks about moving quickly in a direction. So yes, with a hustle, it could be about getting you moving or getting you going. But the question is, are you going to be moving in a direction that's healthy for you? Are you going to be moving in a direction that's positive? And are you going to be moving in a direction that's not going to cause you to regret that movement later? Look at the fact that a vision is all about being able to see. It's about being able to have a perspective. It's about your perception, right? With a hustle, a hustle counts on you not being able to see. A hustle counts on you not being able to think and to plan Mm -hmm. and to see ahead. So many people have gotten, when we get down to the third one, defrauded or swindled by a hustler because of this first definition, right? A force, force happened, coercion happened, there was haste made, so there was no reflection, and then it moved them in a direction that caused them to regret their choice. So a hustle counts on you not being able to see. And if we take this a little bit further to the spiritual world, there's a lot of hustling going on right now. There's a lot of hustling going on in the body of Christ. This is why I believe that God gave me this this particular subject because he doesn't want people to be deceived. So think about that. Is there force or coercion involved? Are you being, um, you know, challenged or are you being told or are you being pushed into acting hastily without any reflection as to what you're doing? And are you being moved in a direction that's going to be beneficial and healthy for your life? Second thing, how do I know if it is a hustle? Remember, the other definition was busy movement or activity, right? But we know that busy does not always mean best, right? Busy does not always mean best. Mm -hmm. Busy actually means to simply be occupied or to be immersed or to be absorbed, to be hard at work in something, right? But that doesn't mean that I am doing the will of God or I'm doing something beneficial in my life just because I'm busy. Just because I'm immersed in doing something. Oftentimes, if you're dealing, yes, oftentimes if you're dealing with a hustler, they can get you involved in busy work. They can get you occupied in doing something where it feels as if you're hard at work, but the reality is you're not making any progress. You're not making any movement forward. You are immersed and absorbed in that person's pitch. (laughs) Or you're immersed and absorbed in that person's 
um, ideas, but you're not seeing any real benefit from it. So if I get you busy and I get you involved, then sometimes it's not until after you've been that third definition we're getting to defrauded or swindled. It's not until after that, that you realize I've been defrauded or I've been swindled. Again, a hustle counts on you not being able to see that it's a, that it's a hustle. So it's, it works and it is successful as long as you don't see. And sometimes we can't see if we're immersed in it. Sometimes we can't see if we're absorbed by it. Sometimes we can't see if we're hard at work in whatever pitch that we bought into. And sometimes people on the outside can say, you know, I notice you've been working at X, Y, and Z for a month, three months, six months, but where's your fruit? Where's your progress? Where's, where's the promise, right? Of whatever that person is saying to you. Because if there's no fruit, then you're going to find yourself doing something or operating in something that's just going to be busy work. All right. Last piece, fraud or swindle. That means that a falsehood has been perpetuated and the word swindle, of course, means to cheat. So that means you've been cheated out of time. You've been cheated out of money. You've been cheated out of energy. You've been cheated out of even motion in the right direction. So how do we know whether or not it's a hustle? Listen again. Force is involved. Coercion could be involved. Acting hastily, not giving you a chance to reflect, right? A hustle counts on you not being able to see. Keeping you occupied, immersed, absorbed in doing busy work, but you're not moving forward. A level of falsehood has actually been taught to you or is being perpetuated or you're finding out that what you're involved in has levels of falsehood in it. That is a red flag that it is a hustle. And finally, you don't want to get to the stage where you come out and you feel cheated out of your time, out of your money, out of your energy, and out of your forward motion in God. So we are closing there. I hope this was helpful for you. How do you know the difference? Can you tell the difference between a visionary and a hustler? And what are some signs to make sure you are not being hustled? Here are some scriptures for reference that you can take a look at in your leisure. Proverbs 19 verse 12. Proverbs 21 verse 5. Proverbs 28 verse 20. Proverbs 29 verse 20. Proverbs 18 verse 13. 1 Timothy 5 and 22. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 2 and Ecclesiastes 7 verse 9. And the only thing that we are to make haste in doing really is obeying and keeping the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 60. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I just wanted to come in today and give you this power word and Lord willing, I will see you next week for another time of power words thank you for watching live make sure you share with your page share with your followers and your friends on all social media take care and god bless